Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. Hope you're having a great week so far. It just started, but uh, hope you had a great weekend then. Uh, and welcome to a new video on Dogecoin. Wanted to do a daily update. Didn't cover it uh, yesterday because uh, honestly, um, we saw some some strength for meme coins across the across the board yesterday. But what you saw is that Dogecoin actually lagged behind quite a bit. Um, and even this morning, like coins like Pepe, other meme coins are not doing so well, right? Other meme coins like like Floki, Do Dog with Hat, um, and Shiba have fallen down a little bit more. Or Shiba, I'm not sure. Um, but some meme coins have fallen down uh, again. But yesterday, I also did not feel like Dogecoin was was very very bullish. So um, I don't think there was need to, to to cover it. But right now, I do want to cover it because I know a lot of you are still watching it. And technically, it's getting a little bit more interesting, right? Because what you see, especially since Saturday um, 4.20, uh, we got a little bit of a, a bullish move here. We got a little bit of bullish momentum. And that actually did cause the, the momentum to shift. Um, since this, this bottom we made right here, since then, we've kind of set up, at least on the one hour time frame, all right? And the one hour time frame, uh, what I always say is that you should just stick to the four hour time frame because lower than that, it's possible you can trade that, but the higher the time frame, the more conviction you have, the more sure you can be about the price movements, um, and the less fake outs there are. But also, if you look at the four-hour time frame, it's very early, and we're not bullish yet technically here, but we have broken above the twenty-eight and the fifty EMA. Uh, so what we have at least done, and we're also not really respecting those anymore. Here and there we are, but all right. Um, so what we have at least done is we have turned this this bearish momentum we had since the, the 1st of April, we've turned that into a consolidation. Now, if you're in a consolidation, the main question I always have is, all right, is that consolidation going to turn into a an uptrend or is it going to turn into a downtrend? And I have to be positive right now because Bitcoin actually looks quite strong. And we all know that Dogecoin is super correlated still uh, to Bitcoin. What you see with Bitcoin is that we have had a good bullish breakout above 65,000. And most importantly, we're gaining some momentum right here. Um, I um, I switched the charts, uh, but we're gaining some real momentum here. So that's interesting. All right. And then if we look at Dogecoin specifically, if it, uh, if it can load, um, if you look at Dogecoin specifically, what you can also see is that, you know, the momentum, it's not really doing anything yet. But there is a bit of a divergence in the price and the momentum. Momentum has been has been lagging behind, even though the price has continued to do quite well. And you can also see that, for example, since the, the 20th of April, we've seen some some strong spot buys. Um, overall, look, I want to cover Dogecoin because I want to cover it uh, almost daily for, for those of you who are interested in it. I don't think that Dogecoin compared to other cryptos right now is that strong. All right, because we have seen some positive spot inflows since uh, since Saturday, uh, but the momentum is just not here yet. All right, open interest, sure, a little bit of bullish momentum this morning, but overall it's not there. So is it possible that Dogecoin will break above its main resistance level right here around 16 and a half cents? Yes, and I even think that's most likely, but that's mainly because of Bitcoin. All right, a huge Dogecoin rally right now does not seem to be the most likely scenario. Um, it's just most likely we'll follow Bitcoin and Bitcoin's most likely direction is up, I would say. Uh, so that means Dogecoin can also break above 16 and a half and slowly get up towards 17 and a half, 18 and 18 and a half. But a breakout above that, you just need the open interest to increase. All right. And that's right now. It's just like I said, it's just kind of consolidating right here. So wait for that. If that starts a rally and we get that breakout, then we can get a, a big bullish breakout and a rally. Um, otherwise, this is most likely, but super reliant on Bitcoin. If Bitcoin starts to fall down here and it starts consolidating, Dogecoin will follow that as well. Uh, so that's what you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, of course, let me know down in the comments. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.